Criminals can't rule America. J. Edgar Hoover has a warrant out on crime. That warrant was served at the Biograph Theater as hand-picked FBI agents gunned down America's number one hoodlum, John Dillinger. Hoover was tipped off by Dillinger's illicit lover, Polly Franklin, the infamous Lady in Red. Dillinger's betrayal has long been a national legend. For the first time, you will learn the truth about the Lady in Red and the man who loved her. Here's a fella says John Dillinger isn't really dead. Says the whole thing at the biograph was a setup just to get the heat off him. Franklin, Polly Franklin. You ever see a picture of John Dillinger, Miss Franklin? She's right straight off the farm. In fact, her old man was a preacher. Do you mean this is the first time? Well, she has been broken, but she hasn't been broken in. You think you had it tough? I worked naked in a crib for nickels and dimes. The country was out of work, but Polly found plenty. She rose from dime a dance girl to Gangland's favorite party girl in Chicago's most violent era. America had a new hero, John Dillinger. He was hard, he was handsome, and he was public enemy number one. If he's so bad, why does Anna let him in here? I'll call a cop. Easy, I just want to talk to you. Anything else you like? Yeah, I like your look. Oh, Christ. Well, I just thought I'd tell you. <laughs> Freeze. The vault, mister. Well, I hope the FBI checks my ID before they start shooting. Together, Polly and John had the crime of their lives. But nothing lasts forever. Tonight, the biograph. The end of the FBI's largest manhunt, but was it really the end of Dillinger? Robert Conrad, Academy Award winner Louise Fletcher, and panelist Sue Martin, Lady in Red, the true story.